We're so thankful for all the fans for enjoying Metroid Dread on Nintendo Switch. Thank I was never much. really a Metroid fan, but Metroid Dread really looks good, especially because I own a Switch and I've been looking for a pretty good action game. I mean, that one action game of the year. Right, another world. Whoa! Funcom! Here we go! Is this Dune? It has to be. Yes. Its jaws. On Caladan, yes. Yes. Power. It is Dune. You must scrabble for desert power. Move slowly, and the day of your revenge will come. This is your inheritance. Speed is a device of Shaitan. Thus, there will always be a desert. Oh my God! What is to become of Baron Vladimir Harkonnen? Do anything happens to me. Your enemy was overwhelming. You'll not be a relic. Yet you rode with him. Does your grief run and have a saying? Yeah, as I suspected, uh, uh, like a cinematic, cinematic trailer. But what is it gonna be called? This is my vengeance. This is my doom. Dune Spice Wars. That's a very interesting title. Control the spice, control the universe. But is this the Im real time strategy? Wait, 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 wait. Hold on a second. Hold on a Please second. Did we just get a. The, so. Okay. I, I, so many thoughts are going through my head right now. I need to. I need to pause this quickly. I need to go back. I'm, I, I need to go back here. Uh, let me just go back to this. Okay, let me just go. Okay, so we know that Funcom is working on three Dune titles, right? They got the license to three Dune titles. One of them is their big MMO, the Dune Survival MMO. This is not it. So I'm guessing next year we'll get the announcement of the Dune MMO. One of the titles is going to be a Forex real-time strategy game. So, so they are working on a real-time strategy game? That is... Fantastic news. That is, I am beyond excited right now to hear that they are working on a strategy game. I love the font here. The Dune font for the logo Spice Wars is the official name. I'm guessing they're going to use a similar uh, font for their other two, two Dune games. And um, it says 4X real-time strategy game wishlist on steam early access 2022 dunegames.com um i'm gonna go to dunegames.com quickly and then see what i can find all right so i have the website open here uh dune spice wars introduction um oh this looks really fantastic zooming in and out with a mouse wheel um Announcement trailer that I just watched. Yes, this is the trailer. Yeah, this is the trailer that I just watched. Um, welcome to Arrakis. There will always be desert on Arrakis. Welcome to Arrakis. Dune Spice Wars is a real-time strategy game with 4X elements from the developers of the critically acclaimed Northgard. I've played Northgard quite a while back and it was quite an interesting game. Set in Frank Herbert's groundbreaking Dune universe, you must lead your faction and battle for control and dominance over the harsh desert planet of Arrakis. Spice is the most valuable resource in the universe. The spice extends life, it extends consciousness, and makes interstellar travel possible. Create your own story and play as one of the several factions, uh, including House Artredes and House Har Harkonnen, and compete for the power of Dune and the spice. Uh, beat your opponents through political intrigue, crush them in combat, and un undermine them with your network of elusive spies uh gameplay screenshots yes please oh this looks pretty pretty damn interesting now of course forex strategy is like uh, civilization um that kind of um as you can see you know you have you, it's not real time in the sense of of command and conquer but more um um, like a, a grid-based, uh, grid-based combat. That is fine. I mean, I'm just really happy we're seeing we're getting a Dune strategy game. Um, visually, I'll have to, I'll have to comb through this. Finally, zoom into every. This looks very much like the board game 
um, the board game's artwork that I've seen before. I don't own the board game. I've only seen reviews of the of two Dune board games, and this reminds me a lot of the artwork from the board games. Um, but yeah, I'll have to I'll have to comb through this with the with the. I'm 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 really going through the screenshots fast because um, I'm just very excited. I'm really really excited about this, and I'm happy that we're finally getting a Dune strategy game. I was really really nervous that one of the Dune games that Funcom was going to work on and announce it's not going to be a strategy game because we know they're working on their um, their MMO survival game, which is this massive. Um, you know, uh, online-based game that's a mix between The Division and Conan Exiles. So this being the second one, I'm really curious what the third one is going to be. Is it going to be like a first-person kind of uh, shooter type game or is it going to be, um, I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know what, what that's going to be. Um, but yeah, so it looks like it, it kind of reminds me of um, what's that, that strategy game where you have that fr Frost... Uh, frost Frost something, I cannot get to the name now. Uh, Frostpunk, Frostpunk. It kind of reminds me of the Frostpunk uh, base building aspect. Um, here you have, of course, your troops attacking, grid based style, forex style. Um, there it looks like the Harkonnen base, and these are, of course, uh, military service, infrastructure validations, and imperial propaganda, which obviously helps with your units. And it looks like there you have uh, hero units, maybe. There you have your military uh, units. There you have harvesters. Um, your resources at the top. There you have probably what is your military leaders that gives you advantages in the, in the games. The graphic style looks really, really good. I'm very happy with the art that they're going for. I mean, this is a much smaller scale Dune game. It's not, um, of course, all their resources are going to go into the survival MMO games. So that's what's, you know, that's their big, their bread and butter, if you want to put it that way. So Funcom is, of course, focusing a lot on that. So when that announcement happens, it's going to be a big one, um, probably at E3 or something like that. So uh where why is this thing going by itself i'm trying to drag it here is likely a zoomed out version of the map because you can see the interface is still similar when you're inside the game and then zoom out it's probably territories that's been captured as the game goes on and then the final screenshot looks like uh, yeah vladimir harkonnen and Pretty cool art style. Again, it reminds me of the board game, the Dune board game. That's uh, I think it's called Imperium or or something. That I'm not 100 sure, but I think it's that's what it's called. Um, but again, I want to go through all of this in detail and then probably make another video or five <laughs> based on on all the details. Uh, Scrabble for Desert Power. Behind the scenes, watch how Sherry Games brought Dune Spice come uh coming soon. Okay. Um, add to wish list. Um, a superb setting for a unique victory. Uh, knowing where the trap is, that's where the first step in evading it. Experience the unique Dune universe, one of the most influential sci fi settings ever created. Players, iconic characters such as Duke Leto Atreides, the Baron Vladimir Arkanen, and more, and guide your faction to victory. Watch for constant threat of the massive sandworms who dominate the dangerous landscapes of Dune. Um, yeah, these were screenshots that we saw. Forge your own path, make your own justice. Uh, we make it here in our on Arrakis, win or die. Choose between uh, subterfuge, political influence, economical supremacy, or open warfare. Okay, so there's various ways to prevail in combat, um, which is very interesting. Uh, Forex in real time. People who can destroy it think they can control it. Explore Dune with Ornithopters to discover resources, villagers, and points of interest. Expand your troops to take control of more and more regions. Exploit the resources through buildings and spice harvesters. Dominate the economy. Exterminate your enemies with a strong military, but beware as outright aggression can have high political repercussions. Repercussions, excuse me. Um, so it seems like with the Ornithopters, you can explore the map, uh, growing throughout early access. Beginnings of the time for taking the most delicate care. The game will be updated and expanded during early access based on your feedback. More features and content, improved balance and new game modes will be added in the early access period based on the crucial input of the community. That is fantastic to hear. And then of course you can wishlist it on Steam. If I click on Steam, I wonder 
Okay, so that is the announcement trailer and the screenshots that we just saw. Early access, um, I can add it to wishlist. Nothing that's, um, yeah, here we have two, looks like two heroes that we have so far. Um, they don't say anything else that we don't know yet. But again, I'm going to go through this in detail. And um, yeah, I'm really, really happy that we got a, not only that we got the announcement for the Dune game, I love this, by the way, that we got the announcement for the Dune game, but a Dune game at least, but also a strategy game. I didn't expect it. I didn't think we would get an announcement for a strategy game. I kind of expected that we get got the announcement of the um, the MMO, but I'm very, very happy and I'm looking forward to seeing, you know, actual gameplay in action. I want to see this in action. It's early 2022, so I'm probably expecting it to be March, April, round about there. Um, but yeah, very happy about this and let me know your thoughts in the comment below. You can expect a lot of more videos on this in the future. If that is something you want to stay up to date with, then be sure to hit the subscribe button as it really helps the channel out. Until next time, my name is Frank, I'm the Red Side Guy, and frankly, thank you for watching. Catch you guys in the next video.